Hey friends, David here from the Wild Rift team. It's been a while since we last spoke. Hope everybody's having a great time on the Rift. 2023 is shaping up to be a big year for Wild Rift. And with a big year means big changes. And I'm here to tell you a little bit more about them. This format of video is not something that we have done before. So please give us feedback on if you feel this information is useful and we'll look to do more of it in the future. The first change we want to talk about is about patch cadences. In a typical Wild Rift year, we have six patches. Starting in 2023, however, we're going to be going from six patches down to five patches. Now, I know that sounds scary, but please let me reassure you that this does not mean we're going to be reducing content by any means across the patch. Starting in patch 4.1, we're going to be spending more time across our patches. Now, what's going to happen here is we're going to add more content in each of these patches, so across the year, the total volume of content that players will receive will remain roughly similar. Now, this is very important for us on the dev team because we want to make sure that the expectations you have built up for Wild Rift remains true across in 2023. And with this extra time that we get back, what's going to allow the dev team to do is we will spend more time on each of our patches. Now, what this gets us is, if you remember back in 2022, during the Elemental Rift period, we had to spend three patches tuning the Elemental Rift to a stage that we felt comfortable shipping. Now, our goal is that with the extra time we get, we can land these bigger grand moments in shorter time and allows us to take bigger swings at bigger problems and capture bigger opportunities. I also want to spend a little bit of time talking to you folks about why these two weeks, which really doesn't seem like much, actually means a ton for us in the back end. Now, as a hyper-simplified crash course on Wild Rift Game Dev, we typically go through four different stages. The first stage is the pre-production stage. This is where we do all the planning, all the figuring out of what we want to make for the patch. And then from there, we get into the production step, which is when we actually go in and do make all the magic happen. Right? This is where all the iterations happen, all the playtesting happen, all of making sure that everything we have really hits our mark and our goals. And the third stage is the release step. This is all about stability and making sure our game is bug-free and clean and ready for you on the phone. And the final step is submission, is where we go and work with our partners to make sure our game is put out on all the right platforms. Now, the two weeks that we get back from this change allows us to spend less time on the release and submission stages, which means that our game developers get two extra weeks to work on planning, work on the execution, work on the tuning, work on extra play tests to make sure our builds are pristine and the best it possibly can be every single patch. With the technical stuff out of the way, let's get to the fun stuff, gameplay. In 2023, we are gonna try to double down on what makes Wild Drift unique, and that is with a bunch of our exclusive content. So whether it be new skin lines, ways to play, new game modes, or even in the Rift itself, expect special, spontaneous things that you did not expect to be coming your way. Speaking of gameplay, let's get on champions. In 2023, you should still expect a champion moment every single month. And on top of that, we're bringing back more lore-centric moments as well. So take your best guess at who's the pair that we're bringing into Wild Drift next. Lastly, we saw how much you enjoyed reworked Karma and we're definitely looking to do more of that in 2023 as well. Let's talk about roles. Over the course of 2022, we spent a bunch of time looking at the jungle and support roles. Expect that to continue in 2023, but in addition to them, we're also gonna be spending time looking at the marksman and the assassin roles. Role agency is very important to us. We wanna make sure that players don't feel like they're disadvantaged just because of the role that they were selected for. Speaking of gameplay, I know what y'all waiting for as well. What is the big gameplay change for 2023? In 2022, we had Elemental Rift that drastically changed the landscape of Wild Rift. Now, we're still in active ideation for 2023, but I want to give you a little bit of a sneak peek and help you get into our heads a little bit about what we are focused on. The gameplay update for 2023 will be focused around variety and specifically game to game variety. We want to make sure that players feel every single game of Wild Rift they play, no game is like the other, and so that you're making new decisions and different choices game in and game out. And 
while we're still ideating in 2023, you can expect in an upcoming patch, things are gonna be getting a little chillier. Onto the subject of game modes, I have one word for y'all folks, chaos factor. What we mean by that is there's a beauty to mobile games where every single game you get into, you have a pretty good idea of what is experience you're gonna be having. And it's between the lines of that experience is where the fun is. For chaos factor, we hope to rip those lines open and have things you never expected to show up in your games and deliver some awe-inspiring moments for you. In terms of how we're gonna be channeling this chaos energy, expect to see some of it in our existing modes, such as Earth or One For All. And also, we're definitely gonna be channeling this energy in our new upcoming mode, the Ultimate Spellbook. And expect more of this to come in future modes as well. You didn't think I was gonna leave without talking about skins, did ya? On the topic of skins, we saw how much you enjoyed our Wild Pass skin line, as well as our old favorites, such as Star Guardian. And so definitely expect more of that in 2023. But I didn't wanna just talk about the skin lines. I wanna show you and bring you guys in on some of the things that us on the dev team do. So this is a game that we play uh, where we try to guess the champion and the skin from a tiny cutout on a skin splash art. So let's take a try uh, and see if you can guess who uh, we are teasing as the next champion and skin line. That's Caitlyn. My money's on Caitlyn there. And that's it, folks. Thank you so much for spending the time to sit down with me and just having a nice chat. We are so excited about delivering these new awesome gameplay changes and content to you across 2023. And with that, I'll see you on the Rift.